good morning welcome to the next video on flat in this video we are going to see some of the examples of construction of reduced grammar so let us start we have provided with one question that we have to construct a reduced grammar equivalent to the grammar these are the productions so what are the steps there are two steps for construction of uh, reduced grammar step one talks about we are going to construct a grammar G1 equivalent to the given grammar G is equal to VTPS so that every variable in G1 that is V1, T, P1 and S will derive some terminal string. And in step 2, we are going to construct a grammar G prime consisting of V prime, T prime, P prime and S equivalent to G1, the grammar that we have obtain in step one so that every symbol in G prime appears in some of the sentential form of G prime and which is equivalent to G1 and hence to G. Okay. So let us start as we have discussed in the earlier video the algorithm we are starting with step one that is every variable should derive some terminal string so these are the basic construction initialize previous v with phi and next we we will be seeing that the variable that are directly deriving terminal string so here we can see c is deriving abb okay so we are going to keep c in the first iteration now we can see no other variable is deriving directly the terminal string. So in the next step, we are going to assign C to previous V. Then we are going to see that E is deriving A in combination with C. So we are going to take union of E. Simultaneously, if we consider this production A is rewritten as BCC so again we are going to see that by using C and the terminal symbols the A is deriving terminal string so after this step we are going to have CEA in the next iteration value of this previous b is assigned as cea and next v we are going to see that s is rewritten as aaa and a is appearing in next v so we are going to include s as well so c e a s this value is going to be assigned to previous V and now we can see that nothing is going to be added in this set as no other variable is deriving termination. So the production rules the new variable set V1 will comprise of C, E, A and S while new production set P1 will comprise S is rewritten as A, A, A again A is rewritten as S, B, B, C, C C is rewritten as A, B, B and E is rewritten as AC. Now we have to find out the equivalent grammar G prime in which every symbol appear in some of the sentential form. So we are talking about non-terminal 
and terminal symbols that are directly derivable from S and then we will see how we are going to reach at a particular terminal symbol or variables. So starting with S, as we can see, the production S is directly deriving small a that is terminal symbol and a. So we are going to have a and a. Next, we can see here a is deriving b and a is deriving c. So again, we are going to have terminal symbol this and this symbol. Next, you can see that C is deriving ABB, but we are not deriving E in any way. So, we are going to have these symbols as V prime, that is S, A, C, and T prime will be. A, B. Now the production rules will be S is rewritten as A, A, A and A is rewritten as S, B, B, C, C and C is rewritten as A, B, B. Now this production A is rewritten as AC is not going to be considered because this is not appearing in any of the derivation that is in sentential form. So this is the reduced ground. References are this. Thank you for watching.